What is going on guys? Welcome back. How is everyone doing? I am doing fantastic. I hope you all had a brilliant Easter weekend. I know we did. We did indeed. So today I've got a little bit of a tutorial for you guys. Um, so I know a lot of uh, modpad devs and, and I'm in a lot of the forums and a question what I constantly, constantly, constantly see is how do you install a certain mod pack? How do you play it? So most packs these days are done by the curse launcher or which is now known as the twitch desktop app so i'm just going to run through it guys and, and show you how to do it um it, it's so easy it's probably the best launcher out there at the moment it's so user friendly i mean my four year old could do it it is that easy so let me show you quickly so basically all you need to do is go on to www.curse.com and you'll get greeted with this page. So what you want to do with this is get the Twitch desktop app. Click this and you click download. So this will download your Twitch and you shall get an icon looking like that. Now you can in, when, once you install it your the, the Twitch app should automatically detect that you've got Minecraft already on your PC or laptop or whatever. So it should automatically put this icon here for you. In failing that, <clears throat> if you can go to uh, help.twitch.tv and just type in Minecraft or whatever, it will show you the other steps you need to do. Uh, one thing I do know, if you go down into here, um, go into Minecraft and make sure this is turned on, uh, mod management, and that will detect. If it hasn't already, that will detect it. Uh, so you should get greeted with this, with this uh, little picture here, click install and it will install Minecraft Java onto your Twitch client. So once you got that, that, that's it, that's all you need is, is this and you'll get greeted. Obviously you won't start off with FTB Beyond in there, there's, there's a pack I play at the moment. Um, you'll get created, created nothing in there. So all you need to do, you need to go to browse all packs. So. Let's pick my favourite pack at the moment, which is Forever Stranded, which, ooh. hello, game, oh, I spelt it completely wrong, but that is fine, Forever Stranded, which will come up right here, now, all you need to do is literally click install, and that will install the game for you, and it will, it, it's so easy, and there you go, now, this is uh, Forever Stranded. is made by a very good friend of mine, uh, Gaming with Sheridan. Oh, it's it's still here. It's uh, downloading, and yeah, he's at two hundred and six thousand downloads. I can't believe how much he's got on that, but he's he's doing so well with it. It's unbelievable. So all you need to do, guys, is just let this play out. Let this install. So once this is done, I'll come back to you. Give me a second. Okay, so that has installed. Now we can go ahead and click play straight off the bat, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on what you can do with it. Um, so you can go to view profile. Now, if you wanna add some um, a texture pack or whatever, you can click onto here, uh, resource packs and click onto here. And it gives you an, an option for so, so many of them. There's quite a few. Um, if you want to add or remove pa uh, mods, you can click onto here and enable or disable. But in order to do that, you need to unlock it. Which you go into profile options and you press this. You untick this and press OK. And now you'll see I get a little cross or whether it, the, the mod needs updating or whatever. So that is that. Uh, it gives you an overview of everything. A little what to do with it. That's his, um, his sponsorship. And there you go. So literally all you need to do is press play. That is it. Simple as that, guys. Like literally my four-year-old could probably do it. <laughs> it is that easy. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, let me know if I missed anything out. I'm pretty sure I didn't. 
Uh, but if I did, leave it down in the comments. I shall leave the curse the curse page for Forever Stranded, where you can report all bugs. I'll leave Sheridan's Discord channel. It's a, like a little fan Discord channel he's got. You can ask some questions about Forever Stranded in there, and he's got a loads of other mod packs he's created in there. Um, I would say, though, when it comes to bugs and whatever, don't post them in the Discord. Always go to the first link which I'll post, which will be the curse bug bug page or whatever it is. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful, guys. And I shall, uh, I think that's it. I shall see you all next time. Peace.